Hi, Jim Gore from Thor Wealth Management. As you can see from this chart, the equity markets are having a rough time this year. The S&P 500 is down over 7%, and if you look at the NASDAQ, it's almost down twice that, down 14.6%. But the real damage is happening more in the fixed income market. This is the worst fixed, in, fixed income market since the late 70s. What happened back then? We had inflation. We're having the same thing right now. If you look at the ag, which is the aggregate of the bond market, the bond market is down 8.74%. Um, if you're in long-term treasuries, you can see you're down over 18%. So bonds have actually performed worse than the equity market. Um, so a question comes to us, Jim, you know, Jim, where, what is Thor doing right now? What are your thoughts on the market? Well, first of all, we have a very disciplined approach here at Thor, and discipline uh, is very helpful in times like this. So first thing we start with, and we've shown this before in market updates, is our Thordex. And you can see the Thordex has come down a little bit, but it's just slightly below 70 right now. So it is still saying to us that the U.S. equity market is expensive. Note in this chart, though, if you look at the late 70s, you can see that the Thordex was very, very negative. If this is like that time period, the Thordex can come down from meaningful position from where it is today. So the U.S. equity market is expensive right now. So if the equity market is expensive, the next thing we look at is the fixed income market. Is this a time to put money into the bond market? Well, we look at two things. We look at duration, which is basically how far out in maturities you wanna go. Secondly is credit. So let's start off with credit. Credit is basically looking at it from a lending position. If I'm making a bank loan to a company, will I be able to get paid back that? So this is looking at the, the bonds out there the ability for corporations or institutions to pay us back. And you can see that that is negative. The duration how out for our maturity is slightly negative. What's interesting about this is if you go back about six to nine months ago, we were very negative on duration. Um, it was well below negative two. So right now it's just slightly negative, which is saying, hey, it might be time to add a little bit of duration to the portfolio. It is getting a little bit more attractive. Yes. Adding some duration is not a bad thing, but it's not time to back up the truck and get fully long at this time. So with our discipline approach, you start off with the equity market is, being, is expensive here in the United States. Then the fixed income market is still very rich and expensive, and there's a lot of risk out there, especially on the credit side. So at that juncture, then we look at other areas to go into, into the market. And this is looking at what we see as attractive. Because the equity market and the fixed income market is expensive, that is why alternatives are very attractive, as you can see right here. The other area that is very attractive, the most attractive, is MLPs. And note that both of these uh, positions are positive this year. MLPs are uh, well above, up 20% year to date. And our alternative bucket uh, is positive this year when both bonds and equities are doing poorly. Now, alternatives, are just things that are uncorrelated to the stock market. And this is something that you should have in your portfolio at this juncture when the equity market is expensive, according to the Thordex. So because of that, you can see here are overweightings. The other area that is uh, attractive to us is the international, especially emerging markets over regular international uh, securities. And that's compared to the US market. Uh, and you can see both in the U.S. market, whether it's growth value and small company are still unattractive. They're, you know, small companies getting closer to neutral, but it's still not a time to back up the truck and start buying U.S. equities. Um, there is one other investment that we have used in the past, which are business development corporations for fixed income. Uh, these are very unattractive. This goes back to credit analysis. Business development corporations lend money to mid-sized businesses here in the United States. Um, and right now, because credit is not attractive, it is not time to buy a lot of BDCs. And it, we see it as very unattractive at this juncture. Uh, back in May of 2020, they were very attractive. Um, so right now is not something that we're looking to invest clients money into. But what's most important is to have a disciplined approach to what you're doing. We have a very disciplined approach here at Thor. 
uh, to make sure that our clients are uh, taking the right amount of risk at the right time. Um, and that is paying off this year because the things that are attractive are positive in their client's portfolio. Uh, things that are un underweighted are the ones that are really underperforming. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, as always, reach out to us at our website, thorwealthmanagement.com, or call us directly. Take care, and we'll talk to you in a couple weeks.